Well, if you've been outside today, you know it's very fri it's frigid out there. But the goal is typically to keep warm inside. Yeah, there are a number of things that you can do right now to help conserve that heat in your home and while also keeping your bills low during the current increase in natural gas prices. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt joining us with a look at some of the uh, best tips that you can employ right now. Rose. Kelsey, Randy, today was a really sunny day, so it's a prime example of why you should keep the blinds open during the day, and then you want to close them in the evenings. And here's another tip for you. I can feel a lot of cold air coming in through this window right now, so a natural gas company recommends that you try to seal this up as much as possible, either with caulk or with weather stripping, so that the cold air is not able to seep inside. It's really cold in Minnesota, and... Uh we are keeping people's heat on. When the weather outside is frightful, the warmth inside feels so delightful. As cold as it is, uh, it's not even close to what we are prepared uh, to do. We are prepared for when it's minus 25 for three consecutive days. To help conserve energy and save money, Centerpoint Energy recommends you check your furnace filter and lower your water heater temperature and thermostat. If you feel comfortable, uh, maybe set your thermostat at 65 degrees uh, when you're at home uh, at night or when you're away from home, maybe reduce it another five degrees or so. Hat, scarves, mittens, you need to have everything covered. When it's this cold outside, doctors say hydration and loose-fitting clothing are your friends, starting with a base layer like wool or synthetics. Cotton is probably the worst to wear just because it can hold moisture next to your skin and actually cool your skin down. Um, and then you want an insulation layer with like fleece or down and then the last layer you want something to be windproof waterproof to really hold in all that heat. Now in the event of a power outage experts recommend keeping your refrigerator and exterior doors closed remembering that temperatures this low can be dangerous. If somebody's heat goes out um, um, their furnace is out. We consider that an emergency, especially in weather conditions like this. And so we try to respond the same day. And when it's this cold outside, doctors at Alina Health are worried about hypothermia, frost nip, and frostbite. So if you feel that start happening to you, please get indoors immediately and then start to gently warm up that skin. Keyword there would be gently. And then if you feel any numbness or extreme pain, then it's time to seek medical care. Back to you, Randy and Kelsey. All right, thank you, Rose. Well, Minnesota